I don't know what my hair is doing over here, but we'll roll with it. I need my mic. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Mailman's here. <coughs> I think I got more products in. Hold on. I got mail from Amazon. I'm going to be doing this video in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we are rolling. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh. I saw this on Amazon along with another cup that I found at TJ Maxx. So I'll link this down below because yeah, I did spot it on Amazon. So. Anyway, so as you know, by the title of this video, we are going to be reviewing, not reviewing, but I'm going to be showing you all of my product empties that I would repurchase and that I recommend. I have gone through so many beauty products, hygiene products, makeup products, and a lot of these I keep repurchasing. So I want to share with you guys what I've been loving in all those departments and that way, hopefully I can give you a little overview of the product, like a mini review. That way you can see if you want to pick up any for yourself. So, <laughs> so anyways, yeah, let's just get started. I have like a lot in front of me. Oh, that echo is getting to me. I may have to buy those little, um, those, those paddings. I've seen them on Amazon. I've already like put them on my wish list. So I may need to get that already because I don't like this echo. Look, watch. Hello? 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 <laughs> Anyways, let's just go ahead and get started, right? So, yes, I do have this bin. I got this bin. I got stuff in here. Oh, I got stuff in here. There's a lot. Okay, so, what to start out with? I guess we'll start out with... We'll do the makeup last. So... I'll put a timestamp here if you just want to see the makeup portion. But let's go through the hygiene first. I talk a lot. Ooh, man, there it goes. <laughs> I'm telling you, I always forget my rings. Oh, gosh. I'm like all over the place right now, guys. <laughs> the weather this weekend is kind of gloomy. I don't like when it's gloomy. I don't know. For some reason, I just it kind of gets me down just a little bit. And I don't like that. So I try to stay uppity despite the gloomy weather. Okay, let's start out with facial wipes. Just kind of like the boring stuff. I'd say it's the boring stuff, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have been through so many brands of uh, makeup wipes, anywhere from the Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx to Marshalls. There's some at Ross, uh, even Walmart. Just a couple of brands at Walmart. H-E-B if you're in Texas but i saved up the ones that i do really enjoy okay so all these were purchased at the discount stores from ross to marshall's to tj maxx okay so first these are the coconut facial wipes by beauty muse pro and then we got the oh the crumb shop ones are really really good um but i have mentioned this before but i find that the ones in these packagings like the more matte packagings are better quality no not quality they're more hydrated than the ones in the shinier packaging so if you're going to go for the creme shop brand don't go for the shiny packaged ones i would go for these matte packaged ones these are the way to go like even the julep ones look it's that kind of matte packaging this one is that kind of matte packaging i totally recommend the ones in the matte packaging versus the shiny packaging actually on any product i mean on any brand and then I got these. So these you can find. I think you can still find them at Ulta, I want to say. But these are the Rice Daily Brightening Cleansing Tissue Wipes. I got these at TJ Maxx for $5.99. These are so, so good. It's just so different. I don't know. They're very hydrating too. Um, this one. This one is so nice. I love the the scent of these for some reason. So these are the Bare Minerals. And check this out. I only got them for $5.99. At Marshall's, isn't that crazy? I know that this one is a shiny packaged one, but 
This is an exception. These were really, really hydrating. So pick these up if you see them, especially for $5.99. Cannot beat that. And then I got two from the creme shop. Look how cute these are. So these are Hello Kitty. Where did I get these? At Ulta. So they had a sale going on. I think like a skincare kind of month sale. I don't know. Something like that. So I picked up a lot of these. I gave a lot to my nieces. And um, uh, these are really, really good. So these are just the Complete Cleansing 20 pre towelette Waterproof Makeup Limited Edition ones. So, so cute. Again, matte packaging. These are also matte packaging, you guys. These are from the Dollar Tree and these are so good. You know what's so cool about these? You can use them as uh, glass wipes, like mirror wipes, and they actually work. So you use this and then the microfiber uh, dry towel and then you, and oh my gosh, your mirror is streakless and everything if you use these. So pick these up just for your mirrors. Yeah, this one was in a set of three, I believe, and I purchased these at Ross. I've only used one of these so far. This one is a really, really good one. So that's the brand right there. This is a K-Beauty brand. A lot of these are K-Beauty brands. I don't know if the Creme Shop is K-Beauty brand. It may be, it may not be. Yeah, even, yeah, it is. Oh, I got some more. You see, look, the Creme Shop. And then this one again. So I got more of those face masks my two favorite brand of face masks are going to be this frutia which is the number one for me and then i also love the creme shop these are very very moisturizing very hydrating these do not dry out on your face when you're putting these masks on they stay so so damp even for like 20 plus minutes so that i find is pretty cool and then you know these are just really good ones that i recommend Okay, so let's move on to these. If you have not tried this brand, you guys, pick one up. I bought some of these at department stores and some of these they sell at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, Marshalls, not Home Goods, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And you guys, these are so, so good. I love specifically because I've tried the mud mask, the I love the peel masks. These are so good. I love all three of them. I would have to say that my favorite is the brightening one. It really does brighten your skin before you put on your makeup. If you use this before your makeup in the mornings to start out your day, this works really, really good. And yes, it does brighten the skin. It's crazy how it works, you know, because you just put it topically on your skin, but it leaves your face very, very bright. <laughs> Pick these up if you haven't tried those. Okay, so moving on to facial cleansers. Um, these are so good. I love the Creme Shop. These are so gentle, but yet effective on the skin. So this is the Double Cleanse 2-in-1 Facial Foam from the Creme Shop. Again, it's a K-Beauty brand. One of them is anti-aging. The other one is acne control, made in Korea. You guys, these are just lather up so nicely you could tell it's gentle on the skin but yet when you use this it leaves your skin feeling very clean like squeaky clean so yeah if you see these pick these up love them you know i really enjoyed this so th this is the daily face cleanser from elf um there's no parabens no sulfates no phthalates uh, this is very, very, uh, sudy. Is that the right word? Yeah, sudy. <laughs> I would say it's sudy. But yeah, this is really, really good. To me, it kind of reminds me of like, this, kind of like a milky consistency, but it does not leave a residue at all. So I love that about this. So if you haven't tried that e.l.f. one, the face wash, um, it is worth a shot. And then I got this in uh, BoxyCharm. So this is the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Face, whatever this word is. But it is a polishing micro exfoliant face like um, exfoliant. You know, it does have little granules in it. And I find that it wasn't too like granuly. It had more of a microfine uh, granules within it. So it is like a, it does still lather up, you know, also. It just works so well for the face. I really noticed a difference when I used this. 
um, every time I got out of the shower. So versus when sometimes I didn't use it, you know what I mean? So this is a really, really good one uh, as far as a polishing exfoliant for the face. So usually I would just do my facial cleanser and then I would go in afterwards. And sometimes I would actually mix a little like pea size amount in with the face wash, you know, and then lather it up all together and then wash my face with it. Sometimes I did it like that. But if I really, really wanted a really squeaky squeaky and I wanted to get all that dead skin off my skin, I would only do this first, rinse it off and then go in with this just by itself afterwards. So, but a lot, a lot of times I would mix it in with the facial cleansers. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna go to these. If you have oily skin, these are gonna be your best friend. So these are the Botanics, Target sells it, and this is the Shine Away Mattifying Cleansing Mousse. Um, yeah, this is so, so good. These are great, great products. Totally recommend them. So yeah, so this is for oily to combination skin. You guys, if you have an oily face, this works so good. I don't necessarily have an oily face, but when I do, like sometimes in the summer or something, I just, gravitate to this if I just want to take off I, I just use this for when I really 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 wanted a squeaky clean feeling face so this is awesome 100% recommend for oily skin for sure then the Dollar Tree the Dollar Tree has some good gems like I said earlier this is awesome right here another thing that is awesome is is if you have sensitive teeth you guys this one works so good it, it's only a dollar 25 you know it's at the dollar tree so you can afford to try it out you know um they always have these available and i find that they're very very effective so they have potassium nitrate of five percent sodium fluoride still anti-cavity so i mean it has your essential stuff you need for a toothpaste you know what i mean and i think this works like great for sensitive teeth for my teeth anyway so and not to mention, it kind of tastes like bubble gum. It tastes pretty good. Ooh, okay. Secret deodorant. I have tried all the scents on these secret deodorants, and you guys are all so good. The one specifically I love that works for me out of every um, deodorant is this one that has the little gel beads, the holes that go through that the product you just go like this and it goes up but anyways this leaves no white residue on any of your clothes i wear a lot of black tops for work i am in the medical field and you guys this works so good i never have white stains on my shirts you know so i i love all of them this one is nectarine i've tried lavender i've tried the jasmine i've tried this one they're all so so good so it's the gel one that I prefer over any of the other kind. This one is the, oh my gosh, I have a lot more empties of this one. I always gravitate back to this one when I try another one. And this one always seems to be a staple in my bath routine, shower routine. So this one is specifically the breakfast scrub oat sugar and shea. This is my favorite one. If you have not tried this, go to Target, go try this, you will love it. You know, it's more of a thicker consistency than the um, the Tree Hut one. Because I have tried the Tree Hut one and it's really, really good. They smell so good, but for some reason I gravitate back to this one. This one is just more thick. It, it gets uh, more of the dead skin cells off better to me. I, I do like the Tree Hut though, but this one to me uh, beats the other one. So yeah, I only tried a little small one of this one, you guys, but this one works so good. So this is the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I need to get me a large one. This one works so good for waterproof makeup. Now, I haven't tried a lot of other brands or anything, but I don't think I need to because this one works so good. What I like to do is put just a little, like a little dime size amount, a pea size amount, and I just like barely like rub it in circles on my mascara. I, I think I rub it for like maybe 10 seconds. And then after I do that, I just get my facial cleansing wash and then, you know, and it just really, really works good. I just totally recommend that. Like again, 
all of these products I totally recommend because these I'm only sharing with you the ones that I recommend <laughs> so okay with that being said moving on oh my gosh this they sell at Sally's they sell this at Marshall's TJ Maxx I got all these at TJ Maxx but yes Sally's beauty supply sells this you know who used to sell this to um Kohl's but Kohl's I don't think no longer sells like skincare stuff I don't know maybe online they sell it but yeah you can find these at Sally's this is so good so I totally recommend I've tried the daytime cream but I don't like that one I don't like the smell of it it's too fragranced I love this retinol advanced brightening night cream it's so so good for the neck and the decollete area it's it's thick I love the scent of it. It's not too strong of a scent at all. It's, it's a light fragrance. When I wake up in the morning, you guys, my skin is so, so soft. This is like a go-to. I have so much skincare, creams, facial serums, but every time I use this, I wake up with my skin feeling soft. So with that being said, I totally recommend this product. Um, sleeping masks for the lips. Um, yeah nothing can compare to the laneige little pot sleeping masks i always buy mine never full price i always buy them at uh, tj maxx or marshall so if you have not tried these laneige lip sleeping masks any scent or flavor what would you call it flavor scent we'll go with flavor since it goes on the lips um yeah you need to try it uh you are missing out okay next bath and body works these are my this one okay i again i go through so much stuff this is my all-time favorite bath and body works scent raspberry jam donut is the way to go for me it's not for everybody because it does have a strong fragrance to it but i like that one more than the strawberry what is it called what is it called the one that everybody loves you know what i'm saying <clears throat> oh yeah look here's another mini one of the Laneige sleeping mask okay yay we're done with this one so what do we have in here huh so we have a couple of these mouthwash they have a lot of different scents they have the pink one which is i think mint flavor they have ice polar i don't the one in blue i love the one in the green package I always keep going back to this one over the other colors. If you haven't tried this TheraBreath, they sell it at the Dollar General, Walmart, HEB. This is blowing up in all the drugstores. So it doesn't look appealing. It doesn't look fun. And although they're making the colors better, like the blue and the pink, I just find that the green one is the best. I like, my, okay, let me tell you though. My husband tried, I, I got him the smaller one, but he did not like it because it was like, there's no flavor to the green one. So if you don't mind that, which to me, I tend to hate the, the like the minty kind of strong, like it makes your mouth feeling hot. You know what I'm trying to say. This one doesn't have that. It's like tasteless. That's what I love about it. And I tend to use even way more than I ever have in my entire life because this one is tasteless. If that's like something that you'd be interested in, you would like that. <laughs> Shampoos, head and shoulders. Yes, is my all time favorite shampoo. So yes, this is currently what I'm using. What I've been using for the past like five years. I've tried all the, you know, I like all of them. I can't differentiate one from another. I think they all work so well. It lathers so, so good. The littlest amount goes a long way. So for that reason, it lasts a long time. I know it's a little bit like a dollar more than your traditional shampoos, but it does last even longer than those other shampoos. I do use a lot of hair care products. So with that being said, I do get little dandruff here and there from the dry shampoo and stuff like that. And not to mention, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every other three. And if I can get away with it, I'll wash it every fourth day. I find my hair is uh, healthier overall by not washing it too often. 
Um, so, so I do get some gunk in the scalp and stuff like that from hairspray for you know, all that kind of stuff. So this really with one wash, it'll take all that residue out of my hair. It just feels really clean and fresh. So I love this. Got another one too, so. Okay, and then hair care. I actually, no, before we go into hair care, this I found at TJ Maxx. So I tried it on a whim, you guys. This lathers so good. It smells so good. It's a K-Beauty brand. I'm telling you, K-Beauty brands are killing it. So this one is Strawberry Milk Body Cleanser from, see the brand right there at the bottom? This one is so, so good. They have banana scented ones, which smells heavenly. Oh my gosh. Then they have avocado. They have coffee bean one. They have so much of variety. Look how fun the packaging is too. Isn't that fun? It reminds me of like the Sanrio, the Kauai kind of vibe. You know what I mean? So if you like that kind of stuff, plus you want a good cleansing product, this is awesome like it even makes me smile because it's so so pretty <laughs> okay hair care i i try not to put too much hair products in my hair okay but with that being said these were pretty darn good products so this one i have used since i was maybe like 20 years old when it used to be in a black packaging now it's in a red packaging and even the spritzer is different too. So um, yeah, if you haven't tried this for detangling your hair and it reduces a lot of the frizz too. You don't want to use too much of this, but if you spritz a good like six inches away from your hair to 12 inches, it really tames the frizz. It really, really does what it says. It's a heat protectant, but it's also a detangler. It has five benefits. So it's an anti-frizz, true detangles yes shines oh yeah softens yes 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 and tames flyaways yeah it does all those <laughs> and then for the ends of my hair okay i got this for 9.99 at marshall's i remember because i'm like igk i've heard of that brand i wanted to try a little something from the brand so this was my first ever product i got from igk so this is the cryberry so this is the Cry Baby Anti-Frizz Smoothing Serum. I only use this for half of my hair, more towards the ends of my hair, and I never use it towards my scalp. Uh, this worked really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, this worked really, really good for my hair. I really recommend it. I would repurchase. I am sorry about all the hair. I really would repurchase it if I see it again, but I have not seen it since I bought this one again. So, so yeah, it's just a pump. And it's like a, just a, a serum, like an oil, a hair oil. Last of the hygiene is in here. So, so let's go into the makeup removal products. My all time favorite one is the Garnier Fertis, or no, the Garnier Skin Active uh, Micellar Cleansing Water. Uh, I have tried all of them, including the one with the pink lid, which is that one's more for sensitive skin. I don't care for that one. Um, this one was okay. This is a brightening one. This, as soon as this one came out, I saw it on Amazon. I purchased it. I liked it, but the most effective one for waterproof makeup, mascara, because if you like to use tons of makeup and everything, I think the way to go is this one. So this one is all-in-one waterproof micellar cleansing water. And yeah, it's for all skin types anyway. Even though the pink lid is targeted i think for sensitive skin this one is also for sensitive skin and it's going to really really take off those waterproof eyeliners mascaras any of those products off your face very very well so what i like to do is get this on a cotton square or cotton round put like three to five drops you know whatever comes out of the lid and i hold it on my lid for about like 10 seconds and then i wipe it so um, I find that that's the most effective way to use these. So yeah, this one was okay, but the pink one is my least favorite. Okay, next, shaving cream. Okay, this one from Equate. They sell this specifically, I think only, no, maybe they sell it at HEB2 and other drugstores. I'm not too sure, but I found this one at Walmart. So this one is supposed to be the dupe for, oh, here we go, compared to Pure Silk. 
and this one was raspberry it smelled so so good so yeah if you're looking for a great like drugstore kind of shaving cream you guys this one is really good oh look i have another little one of those the garnier i think it came free with one of these i think it was like a double pack like this all right so more facial like micellar type stuff you guys I'm gonna say this works the same as this. Maybe this one's a little bit stronger and it takes off the waterproof stuff a little easier, but this one is right there with it. Like it's a great comparison. This Lancome one, you guys, if you have not tried this Lancome one, it is so effective. If you really, 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 really want <laughs> to take off that waterproof that stubborn mascara waterproof eye stuff if you've gone to coachella if you've gone <laughs> you know anywhere where there's glitter and this will take it off so this is the lancome paris bifacial it's micellar water yeah so good okay more stuff that's so so good you guys i'm telling you i love skincare okay this one leaves your skin so this one is the brand the cost rx this is worth regular price okay this one i use it as like a toner you know this is from the brand cost rx this is the ac collection calming liquid mild i i don't get it but i treated it like a toner and yes it's a k beauty brand you guys, this, if you want your skin squeaky clean, okay, let's say you got oily skin, right? Let's say you go with this Botanic Shine Away, and then for your toner, you use this one. It'll work wonders for your oily skin. Oily. <laughs> It'll work wonders for your oily skin. Yeah. Okay, now... If you have sensitive skin, if you just want something so soothing and just feels great, your start of your skincare regimen before you put on your makeup, you want it to feel just very squeaky clean and I'm just being so dramatic. I just love this Frutia Green Grape Pore Control Toner. I have the entire line of the toners from this brand. They're all great so great but my ultimate favorite one is this poor one something about it i will always repurchase this no matter what other toners i have if i just want a great skincare day i use this yeah oh and by the way let me go back to this one this one i specifically just used at night so this is a good night one and then this will be my go-to for day one. So these are probably like my top two. Yeah. Okay, what is this? So this one I obviously like because I kept it. So this is for dry to very dry skin. Oh, yeah. So this is a uh, from Shiseido Treatment Softener. So this one I think I got in a pack at Sephora. I think so, I want to say. But you guys, this was really, really nice. It did soften the skin, just like it said, just like it claimed. So yeah, this one is for normal, dry, and very dry skin. So whenever you put this on with the cotton round, it leaves your skin feeling soft. So I treated this one just like a toner, and it was really nice. Okay, so what is this one? Okay, back to, remember I showed you, remember I totally recommended this one? So this is that skincare cosmetics brand. You guys, this one was so nice. So this is the Super Retinol Serum Night Treatment. Yeah, you guys, this one also worked wonders. I don't want to show you my nails. I need to redo my nails. Uh, this one also worked wonders for my skin. It's vitamin enriched retinol is what it is. And when you put it on your skin, it has a light, light fragrance to it. Definitely not overpowering. I don't know. It just left my skin feeling so clean and hydrated, but yet not oily. It didn't leave an oily residue. It seeped in the skin really well. I don't know how to explain this product. I just really enjoyed it. Yay, we're done with this one too. Oh, break. This is going to be my intercession, okay? Hold on. <laughs> okay. 
last bin. This is gonna be a long video, but I've been meaning to film this, so I need to get this done, okay? So first things first, my ultimate favorite loose setting powder for under the eyes specifically and my eyelids is this one the cody air spun this is in the one naturally neutral that i use and this is the one i recommend i've tried the other ones and this is my ultimate favorite one i also have more in here <laughs> so yes i love that loose powder another one that's right by it is the fit me if you have not tried the maybelline fit me powder you guys it is so good like you can like pack this on your skin all over your face and dust it away with a large fluffy brush and it leaves your skin a little little powdery but an airbrush kind of powdery uh, it's hard to explain but something about this powder is very special next under eye concealer I have used this one up, so this is the Age Rewind, the shade Ivory. I've tried the Under Eye Brightening one. I've tried Light New, or you know, they all kind of work for me. I don't know, but if you have not tried this Instant Age Rewind, which this was all the hype about five years ago, and it's still one of the top contenders at the drugstore. It has a great coverage, but yet it's hydrating and smoothing. It's just a great overall concealer. And then for foundation, I always, always, always repurchase this one again. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade F4. This is full coverage foundation. This leaves my skin, uh, it, it dries down to almost like a, a liquid to powdery kind of finish and it leaves the face how do you say it? Since I have a lot of freckles, it really disguises my freckles and it provides a great smooth canvas to my skin. So all those qualities about it, that's what makes me go back to this. It is a doe foot applicator and sorry, it's going to be ugly looking. It's so easy to use because I, I prefer it a doe foot versus a pump for this one specifically. I don't know why it makes it real easy to use. So couple more couple more we're almost done so oh my gosh yes uh this is the rimmel london eye pencil this they only have one of these they have it in all shades this is a great one it tends to and i did use it for my outer portion look how easily detailed my brow looks at the outer half which i use this one i do have a new one but it's not greasy. It doesn't have a slip to it. It just works so good. It doesn't stray outside your line. Like whenever you put it on your skin, it stays there. It's like, it's kind of like a waterproof eyebrow pencil. It's crazy. And then another one I really, really love because it's micro fine is this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I have gone through these time and time. Spoolie is just perfect. It's just, it's an overall great, I mean, I can't show it to you, but it's so micro fine. It makes like doing little hair like strokes in your brows very easy, you know? Another one I love just for a more quick brow routine uh, is this one from e.l.f. So this was all the hype also about like maybe four years ago or something. And it still is... A tried and true as far as I need to have this in my collection so if I run out of one of these like I do have another one already if I run out of this I'm gonna go get another one for those quick days I want to go make a quick errand or two you know and I don't want to do a full full face I'll go to this and it just tends to make my brows look great <laughs> so I get all shades of this one because I find that the this one's in the shade taupe I find that the lighter pressure you use the lighter it's going to look and then the darker pressure you use the darker it's going to look that's what i find when doing my own brows one more product is going to be this i have used the crap out of this oh my gosh this is revlon crazy shine and uh nail buffer polisher kind of thingy majigger <laughs> for your nails I only do my nails at home nowadays since the pandemic and everything I've just stayed home I've done my own nails 
I've never known you can get shiny, shiny nails with, oh, uh, how do I explain it? I have never known a product, let me make sure I still got battery. I have never known a product. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what to say about this. You know when you do your nails, okay, let's say you, you clip your nails, you file, and you know those block ones that you get, you know, at the store, Sally's, Walmart, Rite Aid, those block ones, and they do have the polisher in it, the buffing in it, the edger on one side, okay, and then the shine on the other side, you guys, that does not compare to this Revlon Crazy Shine nail product you do all your stuff with your other stuff your nail clippers and then you file do you use your go-to nail filer at that and you guys when you do the shiny top coat before you put on your nail polish you gotta get this this is a must i am so surprised i haven't repurchased this i haven't seen them at the stores i may have gotten this one at like maybe marshall's or something on a whim i think i did and I have yet to see this at like a regular drugstore. I have used the crap out of this. Look at that. There's like no more top layer of that crazy shine left. And there's no more top layer of that. This is like a micro fine nail buffer or polisher, you know. I am definitely going to be repurchasing this. I just haven't found it yet. This is amazing. I've never known of a nail care item to be so amazing than when I purchased that. So... Anyways, that concludes my product empties and my recommendations. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking with me till the end, staying tuned for this video. These are all products that I've liked throughout every single skincare, makeup, just these are my go-to ones that I would repurchase. And since you are my friend, I wanted to recommend them to you. So let me know if you've tried any of these products and how do you like it? Or if I encouraged you to go buy one of these items based on my little mini review. Let me know if I did spark that in interest from you watching this video today i would love to know yeah you guys i really enjoyed filming this video for you guys this is my first product empties video ever and i really had a blast with it i'm hoping that you had a blast watching and yes thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye